Hey guys, Darren here. Welcome to Mayhem Country Living, the channel that YouTube loves to hate. If you're on the homestead and there was an event happening, dare we call it SHTF? Okay, let's do it. And you really didn't have a good supply of antibiotics. What could you do? I was out working in the yard, uh, in the chicken yard. We met a neighbor, we're expanding our community, and uh, she and her husband, uh, we ended up giving them a rooster and six hens, and they were so freaking happy. These were little bantams. I don't like bantams. A lot of people love them, I don't. This video isn't about them. Stay out of that rabbit hole, Darren. Bad me. Anyway, I was catching them. Got spurred by a rooster. Pretty good. Deep cut. And uh, this was a day ago. Of course, I went in and cleaned it out. Washed it up. Soap and water. Uh, put a little bit of scrub-a-dub on it. And uh, it has begun to come red and inflamed. Now, I did this in a previous video when I was bitten by a dog. I want to show you the power of basil. Why would I do this? Probably because I'm crazy. But also to show you that there are natural alternatives to a degree. Mind you, if I'm in a freaking car wreck and uh, I'm laying out in a highway or something like that, I want a trauma surgeon. I don't want anybody bringing me essential oils. I want a freaking trauma surgeon. Now, I ain't a doctor. Don't even play one on TV. But I will show you what I'm going to do with myself. We're going to layer this with basil. I, I've cleaned it, scrubbed it, and, and it is uh, uh, very red and inflamed. Okay, guys, now we're back. And what I am doing is taking the leaves, three large leaves, and rolling them up. To begin bruising and you can smell the oil from the basil uh, beginning to uh, uh, secrete from the ah man, it smells so good from the leaves now we're gonna do this um, I have a very good immune system um, I've been tested for COVID 25 times all negative I have had four blood draws to check for antibodies, none. I may be immune. Uh, that's what one person said, uh, one doctor. But we're gonna lay these things over and, and we're gonna have to kinda, there we go. work on it because I'm doing it myself and again this is just kind of an experiment I would I really wouldn't recommend doing this because you know some people may not have as robust an immune system as I do and this is Medical tape? No, not really. This is regular old paper tape. Stretch it out. Roll it on. If you stretch it and roll it at the same time, you could cut off circulation. Stretch it out. Roll it on. Will I lose hair? Absolutely. Stretch it out. Roll it on. Just like you do with a shrink wrap. Uh, we, we used to call it vet wrap. There we go. And now we're just going to watch it, monitor it, check it, make sure. This should be healed up three days. Again, today's Tuesday. Knock on wood. We'll see how it works out. That's all we're going to do. And see, there we go. We'll see how well it works. And uh, might have to change it 
while I sleep, we're gonna have to adjust it and everything. But if you had nothing more than paper tape, gauze, a little bit of soap and water, that would go a long way uh, to, uh, to helping. There's a lot of different stuff out there uh, that has really good antibiotic properties. Basil is very, very high on the list. Garlic is another really, really good one. Keeps vampires away too. Take care of your people, guys. Okay, guys. <clears throat> this is a time lapse, sort of. This is one day after keeping the base alone overnight. <clears throat> I'm getting ready to head to work, so I'm going to wrap it up in a soft ace bandage. I'm going to pick a couple of more leaves. Go in the light where you can see it. But the redness is just about gone. I might go ahead and scrub it clean real quick. <clears throat> just got out of bed. So, I think I'll do that. Okay, now we're back. I went ahead and cleaned it up a little bit, and you can see that it looks pretty dang good. We're gonna put three more large leaves on there, wrap it up, and then we will do day three. We'll see. More time. Hey guys, Darren here. This is day three, and you can see that it looks a whole, whole lot better. Uh, it's not red and puffy. It's not weeping. The edges are knitting together. It's gonna leave a scar. It's okay. And now all that just came about from using basil leaves. It's a really good antibiotic to have. I'm sorry, I'm walking around while I'm talking. So the camera's uh, a little bit shaky. But hope this helps. Really good addition. Uh, good thing to know about uh, basil. And uh, really good to have in uh, all stewards situations. Take care of you people, guys.